Vishnupad, Paramahansa, Parivraja, Kacharya, Sutarashtra, Sri Sri Mad, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Goswami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai. Nama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai. Prem Shri Goho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopina Shai Mukun Radha Kun Giri Gaur Dham Ki Jai Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Shri Mayapur Dham Ki Jai Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai Jagannath Swami Baladev Subhadra Ki Jai Gaur Premanande All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees all glories to the assembled devotees. All glories, all glories to Sri Sri Guru Gauranga. This is the holy name of the Lord. Sri Nandam Dham Ki Jai. Sri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Hari Nam Sam Ki Jai. All glories to Baba Ji. Namo Vishnu Pradayi Krishna Prasthaya Jutalai Shumadi Bhakti Vidana Swami Shana Ne Namaste Saraswati Devi Guru Vani Pichar Ne Vishesha Shini Vadi Pichar Kitesha Jai Hare Krishna Skeleton crew? <laughs> That's going to be interesting. This, when when I leave, there's going to be a week here. You'll be all just by your own, all just all your lonesomes, three of you. Well, Peter and Uddhava left this morning. Uddhava took Peter to the airport, so he probably won't be back for another hour at least. Uh, so we're really kind of shorthanded, but we have to get used to that because it's going to be that way little bit on and off while we're traveling and stuff. I'm leaving here on the 18th. So uh, we're looking forward to having the uh, Janmashtami celebration. Um, it's also going to be Kadashi. Huh? We're celebrating Janmashtami on the, uh, what is it, the 14th? No, the 15th. The 14th is going to be like everybody come in, get settled, general community meeting and stuff like that. And then the 15th is going to be, I mean, uh, Janmashtami celebration, although Janmashtami is actually on Thursday, the day before. It's uh, for the convenience of everyone with the weekend and all that. And then Sunday... It's going to, we're going to celebrate Srila Prabhupada's appearance day with a beautiful ceremony called Pushpanjali, flower offering. And we're also going to have uh, Vyas Puja. Vyas Puja means the, the glorification of the whole parampara, all the gurus going all the way back to Krishna. Uh, and then we're also going to have a, an initiation ceremony, and that's what? Four weeks from today, right? Something like that. Four weeks from today. And, of course, that will be streamed live online. And you'll all get a chance to see that. Now, for those of you who are planning on attending, um, on Friday, we're going to have a community meeting. And that community meeting, uh, I'm going to send out the agenda in advance we have some very important things to discuss, which are not for public, but uh, just for our members and close disciples. So uh, I'm going to send that to you privately and email, and that's not to be shared. That's not for public. And uh, I'm sure you'll understand why once you see the, the contents. <laughs> Basically, um, 
We're running out of time. I know I've, I, for a long time I've been talking about making communities all over the world. And, uh, well, that was then. And nobody did anything about it. This is now, and we're right on the verge of the devaluation of the dollar. I think it's going to happen within the next three months. So I'm advising everybody, as is any financial advisor, advising their people uh, to go into gold and other precious metals and commodities uh, and uh, get out of anything that's on paper, like cash and bonds and stocks and stuff like that, because uh, I think we're going to see a huge devaluation of all of that stuff. Anything that's based on paper, fiat paper, is going to be devalued down to the price of gold. So gold is going to go up, and uh, silver and things like that. So this is a good time to get out of your uh, various uh, assets, cash out, cash in your chips, and uh, go for the gold. Physical gold. Don't buy gold futures or gold stocks or gold anything except physical gold. Now, I know in in U.S. and in the West, it's very hard to get physical gold. Uh, people are buying through these different agencies, and they're reporting that it's taking weeks for them to get actual deliveries. Uh, that's because the Western banks are buying up all the gold because they know what's going to happen. So... Don't be caught flat-footed. Get actual physical gold. Don't buy property. Don't buy buildings. Don't buy cars. Don't buy... Everything is vastly overinflated in price. Uh, so uh, this is the worst time to buy any, any kind of real estate or any kind of uh, stuff. Um, just take our advice, and you'll make out okay. All right. So today we're going to go uh, over the nectar of instruction. The next verse is text 9. Vaikuntaj janito vara madhupuri tatra pira sotsavad Vrindaranya mudara pani ramanat tatrapi govardhanaha Radha kundam meha pigo kulapate premamrita plavanat kuryarasya virajato giritate sevang Viveki Nakaha. The holy place known as Matra is spiritually superior to Vaikuntha, the transcendental world, because the Lord appeared there. Superior to Mathura Puri is the transcendental forest of Vrindavan, because of Krishna's Rasalila pastimes. And superior to the forest of Vrindavan, is Govardhan Hill, because it was raised by the divine hand of Sri Krishna and was the site of his various loving pastimes. And above all, the super-excellent Sri Radha Kund stands supreme, for it is over-flooded with the ambrosial nectarian prema of the Lord of Gokula, Sri Krishna. Where, then, is that intelligent person who is unwilling to serve this divine Radha Kund which is situated at the foot of Govardhan Hill. Very nice verse. Well, we could talk for weeks about the meaning of this verse. Uh, but basically, if you're talking about a place to go in this world, if you want a place to live, if you want a place to perform sadhana and develop your devotional service especially, then the best place is the district of Matra. Matra is about midway between Delhi and Agra. If you go on the train, if you go on the Taj Express uh, 
from Delhi. It will take you, uh, the, there's only one stop between Delhi and Agra, and that's Mathura. Mathura is a very important rail center. Lots of different rail lines come together in Mathura. It's a big junction, huge railway station. So uh, you get down there, and immediately you're in Krishna's territory, in Krishna's world. And uh, you uh, can go from the station, you take a tonga, you take a horse cart, and they have these cute little miniature horses in India.